Hey Virgos, welcome and welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure that your post notifications are turned on so you know every single time that I post. If you're interested in a personal, be sure to check the about section down below. And also, if you're interested in a membership, then please be sure to click the join button. All exclusive Virgo readings that people have as memberships will only be able to access that. So only people that have a membership will be able to access exclusive readings for Virgo. All right. Let's see what the message is. Message for Virgo. What is it that we need to know? Okay, so we have the Ten of Wands. Somebody's feeling burdened. Okay, somebody here is feeling a whole bunch of burden, responsibility. Um, somebody's holding on to a lot. Okay, it's making somebody emotional. This is love that somebody's holding on to, man. Somebody feels left out in the cold. Either you're feeling like this towards somebody or somebody's feeling like this towards you. Somebody here just can't wait to get out of that mourning stage so that they could be free, happy, and just revert to themselves. I feel like somebody here could have a distraction, okay? There's somebody that you see that's cute, passionate, determined, um, resourceful. This is somebody that's a diligent worker. These are all the qualities that you adhere to. I feel like um, somebody's trying to figure out when they're going to be able to run into this person or see them here. Yeah, somebody's waiting for some sort of initiation and contact. I feel like um, you may be doubting yourself, like, what if this person doesn't find me attractive? What if this person um, never comes to, to talk to me, but you've seen this person? Okay. Okay. Or maybe you're blocking yourself from being with somebody, okay? Because you're in your head over a past connection, okay? Somebody never thought of it like that, but I do see that there will be some sort of like um, connection because we have 10 of pentacles, the page of cups, and the justice, okay? Somebody is going to bring to you about some type of offer, that will justify everything. I feel like somebody doesn't want you to make them wait. Whatever this offer is, somebody's going to be aggressive or maybe they're too forward with this Knight of Swords here. Ace of Swords. This is somebody that, that feels the same way that you do, but you are doubting yourself. Somebody could be seeing 1010, the number 532. Yeah, I'm seeing five twice. So 55 could be significant as well as 10, 10. All right. Let's go ahead and clarify the 10 of wands. Why is the 10 of wands here? Queen of pentacles in reverse. And we also have in the cross position, the princess of swords. So somebody here, somebody's trying to figure out what to look out for or how to approach a situation with some sort of blunt energy or without being blunt, okay? The Queen of Pentacles tells me here that you have somebody that sees you as competition, but they're the weaker version to the competition here. Somebody is, is mad that there's going to be a possible collaboration between you and somebody that wants to work with you or put in the effort to come towards you with this um, lover's card. Somebody's in love with you or you're in love with somebody or somebody's love life is going to flourish. Okay, justice. This is your justice here. Somebody here that, that is a queen of cups in reverse is bitter as fuck. Okay, this is a younger individual. A younger feminine energy. Somebody somebody already knew that they were too young for this person. And because you're getting the opportunity, they mad. They would have been mad at anybody. But particularly you. Because this person has feelings for you or they're developing them. 
they can't they can't like take it somebody can't take you we have 55 again so somebody could be seeing 55 55 okay we have not so there's some type of unsuccessful plan we have teapot deep friendship with someone of the same sex somebody's trying to get beside you to befriend you okay just to be two-faced so that something could hang in the balance that's crazy why is this not here what is the unsuccessful plan it might be that this person that's trying to um, befriend you that will end up two-facing you as a friend it will be unsuccessful but let's really see what's good what's this not with this unsuccessful plan eight of swords somebody being able to block you or make you walk away from a potential connection or any connection at all i feel like this is going to be revealed somebody's going to be exposed if they try to block you from something, it's going to make them look like a hating asshole, okay, that they are. We have air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and fire sign, okay, this could be more than one person, or these could be signs in somebody's chart, okay. Something is going to pick up after somebody tries to block, stop, or make you feel like you're, you should be in your head about something. Yep, I feel like there's going to be some sort of big change after um, a very sad time. Somebody here could be doing something that's out of their comfort zone or element to apologize, feel remorseful, or whatever this is. Somebody's going to have to apologize because they're messing with a, a, a potential divine um, counterpart situation or something like that. Wow. Wow. Somebody should just let life life and not interfere with that shit. Let's see here. What's the message? Somebody could be seeing 10, 11 on the clock. Okay, so somebody is clueless on how they act and don't see what they're doing as wrong. Okay, this is a person that may be unsatisfied and constantly complaining about certain things that's happening in their life. I feel like somebody needs to work through their childhood issues that they haven't fixed. So that's one less thing to worry about or so that they can understand themselves better and what they need to do to resolve those issues. But I feel like Virgo, there are a lot of things that are looking up for you and it's time to celebrate, okay? Somebody thinks what others are doing is beneath them and that they are better than you, but it's not the case, okay? Somebody's, somebody is playing poker and playing you out of revenge and they get other people behind them to do their dirty work by trying to give you some type of STD out of revenge, what they want other suitors to come towards you to give you an STD, but their game is weak their game is weak and they're broke as fuck okay period let's see what this dark confession is what is the dark confession of the person that you are loosely involved dealing with right now or uh, separated from I need to free myself from fear and doubts I am a caged bird my pride and ego got hurt so I wanted revenge 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 even the person that they are dealing with or having a physical relationship with it seems like they're not doing a good job to keep you off of their mind. Okay. Because they're still hung up over you even though they claim that they've moved on. Okay. 
somebody could be using um, social media information out of people or finding information on you to, to spy, okay? But I feel like they're getting mixed messages or um, they feel like there are, are mixed signals being sent out where they don't know what to do or they're very stunned or whatever this is. We have memories. So I feel like you're releasing any reminiscent memories that um, hold regard to this person that you're no longer dealing with or that you're trying to forget about. Okay. You're resisting to anything that this person might be trying to get you to do, say, feel, or, or desire. That's what I'm picking up on. I'm picking up on a scornful energy. Okay, so we have waves, so emotions, worry, and fear. Somebody wants you to be in the same spot or space as them emotionally. Somebody could be playing with your sacral chakra or tapping into that so that, um, I don't know, I'm hearing passive aggressive. Somebody is being passive aggressive so you don't pick up on how tense they are, okay, so that you, they can nurture the reconnection or something like that. Somebody wants something to be a reality. Okay, so we have hustling. So you're making it rain. You're focused on getting money and you're getting it. Okay, I feel like you're not ignoring. You're not ignoring the hustle for anybody, but it is too late for someone. Somebody here refuses to close out a cycle and feels like you're trying to intimidate them by leaving them in the, the dark. Okay, I feel like you're very unfazed by this person or this person um, is acting like they're not bothered by what you're doing, but they actually are. Somebody here might need to express their needs or what they are requesting so that they can get what they want or release what they don't want, okay? So that you could feel safe or secure in falling in love. Okay, so we have marriage card. Overall energy is sad news. Somebody here could be getting sad news about work or whatever it is that they do, or maybe somebody that is close to you Maybe leaving or getting a promotion or something like that. Somebody here could be trying to take up matters with HR or their boss about not being paid or not being able to get a, a, um, a raise or something like that. Somebody could be retiring. Okay, Somebody that works in the same type of uh, division as you is retiring so you won't see this person as much. I feel like when it comes to a marriage... Somebody could be married to a correctional officer, somebody that holds some type of authority when it comes to the law or the police force or something like that, or somebody that that is married could be going to prison, okay? Or somebody's in prison in their mind about the person that they're in love with. And I feel like somebody here doesn't wanna lose what they were able to take or, or, or borrow or something like that. We have consulting. Somebody here could be consulting with the person that they are in love or have some type of feelings towards, okay, to delay them. Somebody wants to scare you into whatever they're able to um, have you in fear of, okay? Somebody doesn't want you to get married or wants it to be a long time before you do this so that they have a fighting chance, okay? Somebody's trying to hold you back and um, not allow you to have some type of money, but I feel like you're going to be getting something anyways. Somebody is going to be bringing you something by hand, and this person is afraid of this, whatever it is that you're getting. Somebody feels like you're, you're, you're moving in silence because you're not saying much about whatever is going on, and you should keep it that way. Somebody is childish as fuck or is using a child to, to play the childish role. Like, the number is uh, 315, 29, 26, 21, 36. I'm seeing six twice, nine as well twice, and 24. 
So somebody could be seeing a lot of nines and sixes. the message here okay so somebody's being conned into something by getting something done that may be simple or them allowing simplicity to talk you through something somebody doesn't regret what y'all shared but it's making them jealous it's making them jealous that you don't miss them or vice versa that you're releasing this person I'm picking up on that coffee brand Folger somebody could be drinking Folgers damn you got a lot of cards so overall I do see here that somebody's trying to put the past behind them or um, put pictures in a box so that it's not easily accessible we have the Grim Reaper the relationship is over no second chances grow and transform your life so yeah you're trying to put all of the the past memories or photos things that you might have that's laying around the house that reminds you of this person you're trying to grow and transform your life. We have karmic relationship, acts, stabbed in the back in reverse, and grow with a snake. So I feel like either you're in a karmic relationship or you might have um, come into knowing of one because of what you've dealt with with a past person. I feel like you are fleeting a trigger about a person that you are using as a resenting um, party. So that whatever lessons you're learning, it seems like you're moving on, but you're really not, okay? Somebody is hung up over a, a breakup or separation or somebody here tried to stop the pattern of someone putting them through karmic pain or lessons through this, this dynamic of karmic, karmic relationship. Somebody didn't mean to or want to cause you heartbreak, but they have. And they are being labeled as a narcissist. They they did everything to make it seem like you went along with it or um, you okayed it, you knew. But this person also knew what your expectations were and they played on it by being the narcissist. So anyway, it goes, it still leads back to this narcissist. Somebody wanted you to take some of their responsibility so they would feel better about the situation. So that things would be balanced here. Somebody likes to play too many head games. Yeah, somebody here wants you to forgive them or wants to apologize or something like that. Somebody here wants to be a better person. They're working on their finances or they feel like they're a divine masculine because of the type of work that they do, the corporation that they're a part of or something like that. They feel like you are so materialistic that because they have money or they're coming into it or they get paid however they do that you'll come back to them all right somebody thinks it's just about the money when when the money's done where is the love that's what we need to focus on when when you say all right all right i'll, I'll go for what you, you you saying or what you're putting out when that money's done and you spend that money what happens where's the love there is no love. It's just about the money. So it's like it's pointless. That's why me, when these um, female rappers talk about using men for their money, and you are just there for the assets. What's attached to somebody, but where is the love? I want to feel the love, the warmth of, of love. I want to feel the affection. I want to know that this is not a, a business transaction. This is not about just money. I want to feel loved. Because I have love to give. It's it's pointless. You know what I'm saying? And I know money makes the world go round, but money cannot bring happiness, babes. And that's only um, temporary, okay? It does temporarily cure whatever it is that you need to fulfill your needs. 
But after the money's done, babes, where where's the love? Where's the happiness? Where's the content energy? Where is the the strength to wake up every morning to look look forward to the next day? You get what I'm saying? Somebody here don't want to be apart from you because they want to use you as an example as to why they they felt double crossed, why um, they they want to cast out revenge or pay you back for something that you chose to do. I do see big happy changes. This is beautiful. Yeah, you deserve love. Everything that I just spoke on, look, big happy changes and you deserve love. But you don't believe that there's something better than your person because of the romantic um, connection or emotions that you developed. You need to free yourself. Stop tying yourself or binding yourself to this person. Because somebody was never going to give you a fair opportunity, but you fell in love with the potential. Okay, somebody fell in love with the potential here. Let's see. Okay, so we have trapped in fear, number eight. And we have balance. So somebody's trapped in their head about how their life would look like if it were more balanced. Somebody's not standing on, on, on business. Somebody needs to stand on business. That's just period. Let's see. We have 2121, family, important success and prosperity. So it's important to you to make sure that not only do you win, but the people that you love and care about do as well. Okay, you're wise beyond your years. I feel like you've been around the world many lifetimes, okay? And you've um, gone through lessons being taught to you or you're teaching others a lesson by you being um, present in their life or out of their life. It doesn't really matter. We have single mother or father. So somebody could have been raised by a single mother or father or somebody that's a single parent could be reporting an incident and creating a paper trail, okay? Because something has become um, complicated or whatever this is, okay? I'm hearing that you should um, beware about, you know, ordering food and allowing people to cook or, or share food out or drinks for you because somebody's going to be getting food poisoning. Somebody's going to be stripped of their power because they did something or put something in your drink here. Okay? Somebody's stripped of their power usage because they abused magic to put something in there. Somebody here... That's in your energy could be choosing you or saying that they choose you. You are somebody's choice. Okay, somebody wants to marry you, apparently. Or there's a married person that chooses you. Messy boots. So somebody's married that you were you are dealing with or are dealing with. Okay, I feel like money, info, phone records, keys, or something is going missing. Okay. Beware of who you have in your home because somebody's taking items randomly every single time they get around you or somebody knows about some type of um, information on you because they come to your house, they look through your mail, your drawers, your, your everything, okay? Somebody here could have no physical connection to a, a person that they work with or whatever this is. Somebody could be madly in love with you. Let's see here. What's the message? Okay, so we have an ex-best friend. Something about an ex-best friend. She or he may drive a truck. I don't want to see you right now. Somebody here doesn't want to spend time with a person because it seems like all they want to do is perform 
intimate acts on you like you're tired of that somebody misses cuddling and your scent this is a female somebody here is attracted to you okay somebody here wants to wants to experiment with you or on you okay somebody wants a monogamous connection this could be a female here okay for somebody let's see I am going to pull out a ancestral message. What's the ancestral message here? All right, so we do have uh, Sarki stability. So somebody here may be given the courage to take action. This is giving like masculine energy, king of pentacles. Somebody will be achieving success here. Or you are doing this right now. We also have animal energy. So somebody needs to ask the animal kingdom for guidance and medicine. Somebody could be sick. And in order for you to maintain your stability or achieve success, you need to make sure that you're taking care of yourself. Somebody's um, animal, spirit animal could be a koala. I've been thinking about koalas a lot lately. Okay. A bird. This could be a, um, a bigger or smaller bird. A rabbit, a butterfly. A turtle I'm also seeing a beaver and I also see a snake you have somebody that's in your energy that you may feel like you could trust but they are disguising themselves so that you don't see their snakish ways somebody sees you as prey okay or somebody's preying on you but you have the ability to fly away if your um, spirit animal is a bird of some kind Just don't get too close to the snake because they're aiming for your head here. Okay, so somebody's getting a removal or a cover-up of a tattoo. Somebody could be a gifted student or learner. I feel like there's something about your personality that makes you very likable or relatable. We have your side of the story. Somebody could be questioning a motive, especially when it comes to somebody explaining a story. Okay, somebody can't keep up with their lies. Something is going to be exposed because there's a hole in a storyline. We have logs of phone calls. Okay. Voicemail of a doctor calling about results. Okay, somebody could be trying to pay off this doctor to keep something hush-hush. Somebody is feeling really insecure with who they are. We have final judgment, decision time. Somebody is... Um, ready to make a decision but it comes with a lot of insecurities we have incoming dm so you're gonna get a dm here about somebody failing to comply for something and there are other people it's not just you let's see here tell me more Okay, we have compromise, so there, there needs to be some sort of compromise before you lose something. I'm getting something about your um, mobility in your feet. Tell me more for Virgo. Okay, so we have a savings account. Somebody could be pulling money out of their savings account or do some sort of accounting with a um, person from the Muslim community or whatever this is. 
Yeah, somebody's trying to destroy evidence by removing money from a savings account or something like that. Somebody may need to pay a um, person that's holding their family member or friend hostage or somebody that is collateral damage for you or whatever this is. Keep your circle small. You have a crooked lawyer that you might need to get out of here. Maybe that's the snake. We have a uh, mouth, okay? So somebody could be switching up, especially when it comes to what they tell you or what they agree to verbally. We have beneath, okay? Somebody here is trying to lay low until they're able to have some type of transportation. Somebody is um, going through a unlivable circumstance when it comes to their home, their community, um, abuse or, or a company that a person has kept. Somebody's trying to get out of like um, using drugs or trying to get cleaned up. Yeah, but somebody here feels like they're failing when it comes to like cleaning up their life or or somebody may have gone through an accident that may have made them hooked on whatever drugs that they had to be on. Yeah, a drug overdose or overusing. Somebody could, needs to um, do something with balance or dial back, get a lower dosage or something like that here. Somebody could have um, had a broken or fractured um, foot or something like that and they got hooked on painkillers or something. Anyway, Virgo, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay blessed. And I will see you guys in the next one.